Hello everyone, today I will show you how to perform trend test uh, using Excel stat program uh, using also uh, using a uh, mind control trend test. Uh, I perform uh, this trend test for my stream flow data. Uh, this mind control trend test is non parametric. Non parametric uh, uh, is the, they are generally distribution free test types and also they detect trend or change but do not quantify the size of the trend or change they are very useful because most hydrologic time series data are not normally distributed they are less influenced by the, the presence of outliers this method tests this bank and method tests whether there is a trend in the time series data uh, it is non-parametric test uh, then uh, time series values x1, x2, x3, 2, 2, uh, xn are replaced by their relative ranks rank 1, rank 2, rank 3 to uh, uh, rn final uh, rank number starting at 1 uh, for the lowest up to n that is the test statistics for my Kindle trend test is uh, as shown on the uh, word document this is the equation for the my candle trend test then i will show you how uh, i perform this my candle trend test for my uh, stream flow uh, this is uh, the, the, the date this is flow therefore you need to uh, assemble your data here in such a format here click date then type flow here also press here the num number format here such a format then press enter then here click double click this uh, plus sign then also paste your, your daily flow data in such a format therefore you need to prepare your flow data in such a ways uh, then <coughs> for similar similar videos uh, you need uh, to subscribe my channel because it is uh, an interesting channel I will post similar very interesting uh, videos uh, hope my videos will be uh, relevant for your thesis work therefore this is the flow data ok now click this Excel stat then click also this time series Excel, Excel start time click here then here it, it is uh, man candle train test then open it time series data that is flow I need to select this flow you need to select the whole stream flow data that is arranged in on the daily basis here click this one this arrow then finally date data I need to insert this date data this is my date I need to uh, just prepare uh, uh, also in such a format to check whether there is uh, a trend in my stream flow or not then uh, just I entered this flow data and uh, date data here this flow uh, is just my tabs name here then he activates sheet uh, to output my result in a new sheet therefore click this one sheet sheets a to click click this sheet then label I may I have to make sure this these are uh, checked but then press ok here then continue click uh, here continue this processing then this is my uh, stream trend result output there is there is a summary star six variable uh, type flow observation six thousand five hundred seventy five rows with missing there is no missing here zero if there is a missing 
if there is a missing it will uh, put uh, the numbers of data points who are missing uh, without missing there are uh, these numbers of observation minimum value maximum value mean and standard deviation uh, summary statistics are presented in such a way bank and trend test to flow uh, to tail uh, test for flow uh, is summarized in such a way bank and delta bank and delta tau 0.1866 s that is the objective function for my uh, trend bank and trend test that is uh, presented on uh, the word s yes, this is the equation for this is the equation for my candle uh, trend test uh, this, this s value is presented on uh, our excel sheet p value for to tail the test uh, have been just presented in such a way and uh, alpha uh, 0 0.05 the exact p value could not be computed an approximation has been used to compute the piece the p value test interpretation uh, is, is this is the uh, hypothesis hypothesis uh, hypothesis null hypothesis there is no trend in the series h not uh, ha there is a trend in the series uh, as the computed p value is lower than the significance uh, level alpha 0 0.05 one should reject the null hypothesis h not and accept the alternative hypothesis ha uh, the risk to there is also here uh, the risk to reject the, the, the nil, nil hypothesis h not while it is true is lower than 0 0.01 but uh, this is 0 0.01 if the if if this test hypothesis is uh, uh, if the final result is there is no trend in the series then uh, if the risk of this uh, judgment uh, is lower than 0. Uh, lower than 100 that is 0 0.01 which is too far low uh, then uh, whether if there is no trend i can accept also this ha there, there is a trend in the series and i will go uh, further therefore this judgment is necessary therefore for me and uh, this there is a trend in my series therefore uh, excel start will uh, show you uh, the trend graph here date and flow flow here on the uh, left side and the dates here and as you can see this is my trend uh, stream flow uh, data therefore uh, there is a trend in my, in my uh, stream flow therefore it's okay then you need to, you can also conduct in such a way uh, using my candle trend test which is relevant uh, you need to check whether there is a trend in your, in your time series stream flow data therefore you need to perform uh, in such uh, anyway so for today uh, my video is uh, all about uh, how to conduct uh, this trend test using my candle uh, for and then the next video i will show you uh, various tutorials uh, therefore you need to uh, subscribe my channel it will uh, motivate uh, uh, for doing a better uh, tutorials therefore thank you very much uh, have fun for today this is all about